Hello, my air signs, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. This reading is for my divine feminines tuning in, watching for a lost connection with your divine masculine. General reading as always, so please do take from this reading what makes sense for you and release the rest. We're going to start with this deck by Fire Witch Tarot. WTF is the problem. So this deck does obviously contain some profanity. If that bothers you, if you're not interested in this portion, you're more than welcome to fast forward. So let's go ahead and take a look and see why is this a lost connection? What happened here? What are the problems when it comes to this partnership? For air signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This could also be for cross watchers too, who might be watching for a masculine who is an air sign. So take it for how it makes sense as always. All right, so here we go. What's up? What are the problems? We have hangry I see, eat bitch. <laughs> okay, so take that for how that makes sense. If there's a part of you feeling that way, certainly when it comes towards the efforts that you have put into this partnership with your masculine. This could also be coming through for my feminines who are very ambitious and driven to be able to make things happen in your life. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But if you were dealing with a masculine who didn't support that, that could have been an issue. All right, let's see. What else? What else here? Believe in yourself, damn it. Okay? So I feel, going back to this message, if you were very ambitious and just really hungry, really going after your goals, your dreams, and I, what I am feeling here is you might have been dealing with a divine masculine who wasn't on the same page as you, who perhaps didn't support your choices, your decisions. This comes down to you believing in you. That's it. Look at this. Someone has a horrible attitude. Okay, so that could be your divine masculine here. So we'll have to clarify, of course, what that is about. So let's start with my tarot teacher deck here and let's see what this is about. Angels and spirit guides, please, for this lost connection for air signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So what I'm getting here initially is you might have been dealing with a masculine who really did not have a good attitude overall and didn't support you, did not give you the proper support of what it was that you were needing from them during the partnership. So you had to believe in yourself. So I do feel this card is wanting to come up in the reverse. Let's see what it is. Queen of Wands. Okay, so this is someone who tends to be selfish, has their own insecurities, could be very overbearing and demanding. This is someone who's a bully, very manipulative and unfaithful. So Divine Feminines, if you were dealing with somebody who was like that, it's presenting itself here. Someone who was unfaithful. And therefore, if you weren't getting out of the partnership what it was that you were looking for, I'm getting for some of my Feminines that you threw your energies into your career and other matters of concern in your life. This is interesting now that we've got the Knight of Pentacles because this could be someone who's ready to put in the work. Maybe they weren't ready and willing to put in the work before and they weren't as committed, but this is someone who is. This is someone who represents a very slow moving masculine, perhaps. Very slow in supporting you as well is what I'm getting. Knight of Pentacles is someone who is loyal, however. They themselves are very ambitious and ready, perhaps, to take responsibility for their own actions. So maybe there's been a shift in the energy here when it comes to your masculine here, Divine Feminine. Let's grab another message here. We do have the Three of Pentacles, which makes sense for me because this is all about teamwork and collaboration and being able to perhaps learn from each other, wanting to be able to build something together in the partnership. But if they have this horrible attitude that's reflected here, that wasn't happening. There was no teamwork before, which is ultimately why this connection 
fell apart. That is what's presenting itself here. That's why it fell apart. Because they had just an overall bad attitude about everything. And they weren't there for you the way you needed them to be. So you had to be there for yourself. Alright, so let's grab some current energies when it comes to your masculine. I'm going to pull from the Moody Moon Messages Masculine Edition deck by Sister Moon Tarot. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Air Signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So when it comes to the Divine Masculine, where are they at currently? What's up? Look at this. The Masculine is still desiring the feminine. Passion, love, magnetized. You guys are like two magnets who are constantly attracted to one another, even though this is a lost connection. They're feeling really sad that you guys are not together. This is depressed, grief, forlorn. That is where they currently are at, Divine Feminines. Maybe you really needed clarification on that. As you can see here, which also could have contributed to why this is a lost connection, is because they were inconsistent, unreliable, unstable, game playing. They were playing games, and if they were in game playing mode you couldn't take them seriously and they could not be there for you the way you really needed them to be some of you guys could have been dealing with a player as well you could not rely on this masculine they could have also been talking to other people in addition to the relationship with you but i'm also getting here because now they're depressed and sad that you're not together they also have regrets over how things played out between the two of you. All right, so let's clarify. I'm going to pull from my Illuminated Star Tarot deck here. For air signs, angels and spirit guides, please. For Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Feminines tuning in, watching for a masculine that you are in a lost connection with this person. Nine of Wands. Okay, this was a connection that went through something challenging because someone's got their boundaries up now. Someone's got their walls up. That could be you, Divine Feminine. Even though you're seeing here that your masculine still wants you, they still feel the passion, still feeling the love, still so magnetically drawn to you. There was something about this connection that really tested you. Could have tested both of you. And perhaps your masculine failed. They could not show up for you the way you needed them to be. So you've got your guard up. You've been wounded by this masculine. Maybe there's a part of you that's just not sure. But look at this. You've got the magician coming in. So this is manifestation. This is perhaps a masculine that could ultimately represent your ideal mate in this lifetime. But there were some challenges as well. Still a very strong soul connection. This is giving you guys the opportunity to rekindle the partnership. But it falls on the masculine to be able to make that happen, I feel. Right now, they're dealing with this very depressed energy. What they might fail to see is that they have the opportunity to give you guys another chance, like a fresh start. They can manifest this. Maybe that's where the inconsistency is. They're just unreliable in that way. Let's grab another message here. But yeah, I'm getting here for this masculine too. Part of the reason why they're so sad and just not in a good headspace is because maybe now that you guys are a lost connection, they realize that you represent their ideal partner. And maybe they're just not they're just not sure how to make all of this happen in the 3D. They could also be really pissed off at themselves that they were inconsistent before. I <laughs> can't get away from this one. Look at that. Here we are again. So that is coming through for a reason in this reading, guys. Three of Pentacles. There could have been infidelities. There could have been third-party situations here. But 
what is needed is teamwork for the two of you to be able to solidify a much stronger foundation in this partnership. And they just were not reliable in that way. In order to shift this energy forward from what this is, your masculine has to be able to get onto the same page as you and be able to put in the work. But if they're still wanting to play games, that's not going to happen. What I'm getting for your masculine, it's almost as if, you know, it's like waiting for a train. And I've used this scenario before where you're waiting for the train to arrive. It's like a train of opportunity. All you need to do is get on it. And it's going to take you to the destination where you're meant to be. I don't think your masculine has been awakened to the point where they can get on the train. All they need to do is wake up and realize the opportunities that are right in front of them, possibly when it comes to this lost connection. We'll have to see what the rest of this reading brings forward. It's possible, but they need to recognize this. They absolutely need to recognize it. Okay, so let's grab some words from the masculine. I'm going to pull from the Divine Masculine Revelations deck. This is by Mystic Moon. Angels and Spirit Guides, please. For Air Signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So what are the words from your masculine? What do they want to say at this point in time? Constant. My mind and heart always come back to you. No matter what they do, no matter where they go, no matter how, perhaps how much they've tried to move on from this, they can't do it. They can't stop thinking about you. Look at this. Unique. I feel a special bond with you that I've never felt before. Exactly. That's why they always think about you. That's why they can't seem to forget about you or move on. Even though this is a lost connection, it does not matter. Look at this. Craving. The thought of you still does things to me. Absolutely. And then we have apologies. Even though I don't show it, I'm sorry for how things went between us. So what you might be seeing in the 3D Divine Feminines is you've got a masculine who's living their life. They've moved on. They're great. They might be talking to other people. But the reality of it is they still think about you. You're never far from their mind. They will perhaps continue to try to replicate this connection with other people and they won't be able to do it. That's why every time they think about you, they're still affected by it. There's still this desire, this passion, this craving, as it says. They know they messed up, is what I'm getting here, which is why there's a part of them that would like to apologize. But maybe they're allowing their fears to get in the way of doing the proper thing, doing what's right. And maybe it's been years since you've seen each other. And so they're not even sure if you would even be welcome to hearing from them. So there's a lot of apprehensions and hesitations and fears and anxieties that I pick up from the masculine here. So let's clarify it. I'm going to pull from my modern day Sears Tarot and Oracle. And for those of you who are new to my channel, this is a deck that I created especially for advanced beginners interested in learning how to read tarot for yourselves. It's got upright and reversed meanings, much like this, and so it makes it really easy to learn tarot. And I've added a twist here, which is new oracle messages as well as new court cards. So while you're in learning mode, those extra cards will challenge you as well. It's a lot of fun, actually. So perhaps this is a deck that you might want to try as you're learning. All right, guys, so let's, let's see what else. All right, we have a reversed card here, which is the Two of Wands. Fear of the unknown, 
fear of change. So we have a masculine here who's just wanting to play it safe in the meantime. Which is why, as it says, even though I don't show it, I'm sorry for how things went between us. We have the Judgment card. Did that not already come through? Let me just check that really quick. I've done so many readings here today. Okay, no, that was a different reading. But I feel it's really fitting here for this reading that your masculine is going through some sort of rebirth, an awakening. A wake-up call is how I like to see this Judgment card because they've perhaps had the opportunity to self-evaluate where they've been with you on this journey and how they ultimately might have dropped the ball to be able to come towards you as the person you needed them to be, a supportive partner. And so I feel this is very much in tune with the Apologies card because this judgment energy from this card is someone who wakes up, they know they have to apologize, and what they're wanting here is not only forgiveness, but the opportunity to fix things and to have a reunion, a reconciliation here. Whoa, let's grab another message. What else, please, for Air Signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, for this lost connection? We've got the redwood tree coming through here. So this is a card of wellness, safety, longevity, wisdom, vitality, someone who is a survivor, someone who is ultimately a strong individual, but maybe they forget that sometimes. This could be your masculine wanting to definitely communicate. They want to reach out. What they're wanting here is long-term commitment. They don't want to mess around anymore. Perhaps they were before, just weren't the type to commit before. But they're ready to be able to do that, or at least working on being able to offer that to you, Divine Feminine. Five of Swords definitely clarifies that maybe some of you guys walked away from this masculine because there could have been competition and conflicts, other people, third-party situations and infidelities between the two of you. And they want to be able to apologize to you for that. They are recognizing this. So I feel that your masculine has grown. I feel that they still have a lot more work to do on themselves. But it's, it's progress that they are, I feel, making. All right, so let's add to this. I'm going to pull from a connection lost somewhere in time. This is a deck by Angelic Revelation 144. So what else do we need to know when it comes to your masculine, this lost connection? Angels and spirit guides, please, for air signs. Ghostly love. Your phantom spirit continues to embrace me with your sweet love and torture my heart and soul as you reject me with your coldness in the physical world. Okay? And that could also be why there's not a whole lot of movement going on in the 3D. Because, you know, they want to apologize. And as it says, even though I don't show it, I'm sorry for how things went between us. They don't show it. Maybe because they're feeling this cold energy from you, Divine Feminine. But they still, they still have love for you. Look at this card. I walked away. I am so sorry. I couldn't be there for you when you needed me. I was heartbroken. I should have fought for you and our love. It will always be my biggest regret. That is coming through in this reading, that they just did not show up for you the way you needed them to. I lost my heart to you. When you left, you took my heart. There's an empty space where I have been bleeding out ever since. So this is heartbreak. This is something very painful. And then we have running away. I'm sorry that I ran away. I kept on running because I was trying to outrun the pain. So really, you might have been dealing with a masculine who had some issues 
past trauma, past heartbreak that might not even have anything to do with this connection. But if they didn't take the time to heal from that, it was still affecting who they were as a person and how they ultimately conducted themselves in the connection with you. So let's clarify that. All right, so I'm going to pull from my tabby tarot teacher here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for air signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So this hasn't been easy, that's for sure. And it really doesn't matter who walked away. For some of you, it was the masculine who walked away. For some of you, it was the feminine that walked away. But the reality of things as it's presenting itself here is the masculine just was not present. They were not there for you the way they needed to be. They were not a good support system at that time. I feel they've learned, they've shifted from that energy and they want to come towards you as a better person. Five of Wands, competition, rivalry, okay? So it has not been an easy journey whatsoever. We've got fives popping up in this reading. Fives are very difficult energies in tarot. So you guys have had arguments, struggles, competition and rivalry represents other people. So third parties were definitely a part of this equation for some of you guys. Queen of Cups. Some of you might have water in your chart. Divine Feminine, you could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So the Queen of Cups is someone who is emotionally stable. And you are dealing with a masculine who was anything but that. They were not. Because remember this card, inconsistent, unreliable, unstable, game playing. So perhaps, Divine Feminines, you had to find that stability within yourself. Queen of Cups is known to be very intuitive. So it really comes down to you, Divine Feminine, just trusting your instincts, your intuition when it comes to the connection with your masculine. You could also represent the more mature counterpart in this equation. We've got the fool coming in. So this is a new beginning right here. But I do get for some of you that your masculine just was not looking for a commitment before. And again, I feel that there has been a shift in that energy. They might have gotten to the point finally where they now see you as your their ideal mate. They want to be able to be your life partner. Possible marriage for some of you. Wanting to have more adventures with you. Because they recognize that if they don't take action here, you're not going to be sitting at home just waiting for them forever. You're going to be out there living your life. You're going to move on to other relationships and find love elsewhere. And if they really want to play that role in your life and be your ideal mate and be present for you, then they're going to have to show up. But I'm not surprised to see this devil card. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. So your masculine, they've got some unhealthy attachments here that they need to deal with. They have to be able to perhaps do that shadow work in order to create healing for themselves. So if they did walk away from you, Divine Feminine, they might have done you a favor. Especially if they're dealing with temptations that are obsessive or addictive or just unhealthy. That could also have something to do with this energy that they were running away from because there's a lot of pain there. So here we are with the Seven of Pentacles letting you guys know that with hard work and effort in this partnership, you guys can make it through. That things can still fall into place, but it is going to take some time. You can be victorious in this partnership, guys, regardless of how things might have happened to turn this into a lost connection. Six of Wands, success and victory. 
And then here we are with the temperance card. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarian here or something might happen during Sagittarius season, November, December-ish, towards the latter half of this year. It's going to take time because temperance is about patience. Temperance is about restoring harmony and balance in a connection, but it's also the potential for a reunion and a possible reconciliation here for you and your masculine here. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap it up with some final messages from the Lover's Oracle deck, and then we'll grab a card from the Guardian Angel cards. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Air Signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Only time will tell. Exactly right. Which is why you're being directed to have patience at this time. You can't rush it. You can't rush that healing. You cannot rush moving forward. You cannot rush how this is all going to play out. Okay? So let's grab one final message from your guardian angels here. Wrapping up this reading. And we have a rainbow. How beautiful. You are a jewel, even though you may not see it. Even in the darkest times, you shine eternally bright. You are surrounded by an aura of love and a pot of gold waits beyond the horizon. All will clear soon. Trust and continue to follow your dreams. You are eternally blessed. So that's such a beautiful message. First of all, you might run across a rainbow on a particular day where something significant might happen between you and your masculine. Or just the reference to rainbows might be something significant for some of you. All will clear soon. This is letting you know that whatever blockages are in the way, that will be cleared in order for you guys to find your way back to each other. Okay, Divine Feminine, so that's where I'm going to leave this one. If you're interested in your own reading, that info is down below. Thank you, as always, for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Take care.